hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is the Hudu. i am a nigerian based in nigeria i am from edo state nigeria if you're new welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back so in today's video it is a chit chat video where i am sorry i will just tell you guys how the world is evil like many people that laugh with you are not genuinely happy for you and i keep saying this to my people in the house i keep telling this to them but they just want to, they, don't, they just don't want to understand why i say so but i know why i am saying so forget the fact that i am young i know why i am saying so and why i am saying so is not just about what i want to tell you guys in this video but because of what i what i have seen or heard about other people's experiences so um i got married february early this year and it was a very low key wedding very very low key like it was in my dad's city room and i think the people that came were no more than 50 50 to 100 people came like there was no music there was nothing the islamic wedding was conducted in the mocks and they came after mocks some came over to the house while some just went to their various houses you understand what i mean uh, the very 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 minimal wedding i have uh, attended in my life like there is no music there is nothing entertainment in it and i intentionally made it that way because i do not want anything that will take out the blessing of my Mika, that is my wedding it was uh, in the morning everybody like people were coming in and i was sitting i was in the house sitting um with my sisters of course justine and all of that so there is this particular woman so she came to the wedding and this is someone i have had issues with in the past like everybody knows it i have had issues with her in the past not just me but other people but because i am this um should i say this vocal person i am this outspoken person so i i was always the one confronting her so on the day she came there was no music she came and was like uh -uh, come let's dance now come let's dance and she was now playing the music with her phone and i was like i don't want to dance if i want to dance i would have gotten a dj that would do all of this but i don't want to dance and obviously there is no dj here and for me not to have a dj you know it is not because we cannot afford it but because i do not want it so i don't want any music in my nikadi i don't want anything like that i am not trying to prove that i am perfect or I, I am the holy type or i am the most religious person i listen to music on a daily basis but for my nika i wanted something different because it is not a child's play um so she was she, i will be passing by and she'll hold my hand come let's dance come let's dance. and i was like what is this like why are you forcing me to dance if i if i if i want to dance i would have taken a dj or hired a dj that will come and play music that will make me dance but i don't want all of that so i allow my i love the house be as boring as i want it to be that is how i want it to be i don't want noise so i allow it to be boring so she kept dragging she kept insisting and i was like ah, i don't understand I don't understand playing music with her phone just to get my attention or just to make the music enter my head and we'll dance. And I didn't want to embarrass her there. So I would just come and I would dance a little, dance a little. Dance. She was, I, I, while dancing, I observed the closeness. Yes, we want to dance. Okay, still let's dance together. I observed how she was coming closer to me and I, it was, it was different. Like when so, someone is trying to do something bad to you, you feel it. It's just us, like your instincts keeps telling you but it is just um we humans that would decide to turn deaf ears or like just decide not to see uh, or listen to our instincts so she kept coming closer to me holding my waist holding my body and was like let's dance but don't hold me i am the bride as i find it so stupid that you know someone is getting married especially in this era even if you do not mean harm like even if you meant to go to the person it is so inappropriate for you to like be holding the person touching the person it is very inappropriate like people should know boundaries people should know what is normal and what is not normal people should know what to do and what not to do especially in some occasions so she kept coming closer to me and i was moving back so when I, I realized I wasn't comfortable, I just told her that I want to go and change. I want to go and have my makeup done. So I left her there. Immediately I left, she stopped dancing. 
I was like, ah, so you say you want dance? Dance now. Made me enter my room and continue my life. I went inside. I got my makeup done. I wore my clothes. So I think as I was wearing my clothes, or immediately after I wore my clothes, um, the men that went for the um, Islamic my wedding came back and normally they'll come and the women will come and i hear i don't know what they call it but they will do that i hear like celebration like that and maybe call you a married woman you're not a married woman blah 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 so they came inside again she came inside with other women together with other women and i knew where she was heading to again so she was like come let's dance now come let's dance i, I was like i don't want to dance i i don't want to dance if i want to i would have called or hired a dj to come and play the music i don't want to dance and she kept insisting kept insisting i was like what is this what a life <laughs> allow me be i don't want to dance she kept insisting come, come now so i said okay and now we now moved to some a part of the house and we were dancing dance your dance let me dance my dance now she refused. She was holding me, holding my waist, holding my hands, like using her, basically using her body to rub my body. If she was a man, I would have understood, okay, this one just one tap current, or this one just one few breaths or something. But the fact that you're not a man, you're a woman like me. And then she moved to my tummy, using her hand to rub my tummy and holding my, I was like, wow. Immediately I noticed it. I just walked out on her. My sister, my sister was there. And she was, and I was murmuring as I was leaving. I was murmuring. I still was not like, ah, what, what, what? Happened? She's, she's holding my stomach, rubbing my tummy, and all of that. So in my house, we don't take things serious. That is just the truth. Uh, when I told my mom, when I told my dad, he was like, there is nothing she can do. That everything is in God's hand. As long as you do not harm or you do not mean any anything bad towards someone, then that person cannot harm you. They don't take things serious in my house. So that was it. So it kept me thinking, like this is the same woman that, as in you and I know, we do not, we are not in good times. Like we have, we had always had quarrel in the past. Like even up till now, it's not as if we are that close, close. But let's peace just train. That is why we are talking, or that is why we just want to let the past be. And now on my wedding day, you're coming, forcing me to dance, and not just that trying to rob me and not just that trying to rob my tummy it is so inappropriate people need to be wise people need to be prayerful there is a lot of evil eyes people were now saying um it's possible she just wants to know if i am pregnant i was like ah, ah, now you give me the belly even if i am pregnant can't you wait and hear that okay i gave birth before the time i was supposed to give maybe i gave birth um seven months after um the wedding or six months after the wedding then you'll not be sure that yes i was pregnant or i, I was pregnant during my wedding which one is now trying to rub my tummy it is really irritating like it is pissing me off anytime i remember i always regret the fact that i didn't like create a scene i don't want to create a scene because it was my wedding i don't want anybody to not start the happiness that was in in the environment to change and all of that and my mom is someone that is hypertensive so i didn't want to put her in that kind of situation so i looking back now i just regret that i should have actually created a scene and people should know that this woman is not i don't know what she meant but for me there is nothing you can say but there is nothing you will tell me that will convince me that she never meant bad there is nothing if you want to know i am pregnant the least you will do is even ask me directly are you pregnant okay maybe because i i was looking fatter on my wedding day the least you will do is ask me are you pregnant and i'll tell you if i am pregnant or not you coming to rub my tummy is out of it like it is it is not it at all so we really need to be careful a lot of people that come to your wedding and not genuinely happy for you and i would say that was one of the main reasons why i had a very lucky wedding i didn't want a lot of people in my wedding that is just the truth i didn't want crowd in my wedding i didn't want um people i do not know i wanted people close people and even though you know nigerian parents they will never accept it they still invited the people i didn't know so yeah that is it there is evil eyes my religion has told us as one does to be careful about evil eyes because it exists no matter how we want to lie to ourselves we know that there are a lot of people that are not happy for us there are a lot of people that are just normally like their default setting is jealousy 
once you tell them anything good about somebody their default setting their default reaction is jealousy that is just how they are um so i would like to advise you all out there about getting married that you should try as much as possible to pray your ayah to christy you please do not joke about do not joke with it if you're a muslim do not joke with your ayah to christy you if you're a christian i do not know the prayers for you or you should um, look for it pray about pray with it um try as much as you can to avoid crowd like of recent we've heard a lot of bad things that people have been doing to each other people have been doing to other people to stop their progress or to spoil their good mood or to spoil their good times so we should try as much as we can to avoid all of that good things attract evil eyes that is just the truth so we should try as much as we can to take away evil eyes from ourselves no matter how we want to sugarcoat it in one way or the other in our lives we must have encountered um encountered evil eyes like we must have encountered evil eyes in one way or the other in our lives so yeah i just sort of sharing this video thinking about it now still gives me that goosebumps still makes me feel irritated still makes me feel bad and i just i kept thinking i keep thinking why she did that is it because she wants to know if i was pregnant is it because she wants to know she just wants to maybe i don't just know but i don't believe in that that is weak i don't believe in that i don't believe someone can rub my tummy and stop me from getting pregnant or something but yeah that was it and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like share subscribe and drop a comment in the comment section